Biden is ready to withdraw from the presidential race on only one condition. According to journalists of Axios Media Outlet, the current American leader, Joe Biden, is ready to fight for the presidential seat with his rival, Donald Trump. However, he can drop out of the race if his family so decides. The editors of the publication emphasize that the head of the White House does not give up just because his family and close friends believe in his victory. If Biden stays, it will be for the same reason he decided to run again. He and his family believe that his chances of defeating Trump are higher than those of Vice President Kamala Harris, the report says. According to journalists, the First Lady of the United States, Biden's younger sister, Valerie, and 85-year-old Ted Kaufman, a longtime friend and constant advisor to the president, as well as a small group of White House advisors, are the people whose opinions the American leader relies on. This perennial kitchen cabinet operates as an extended family, a council of elders, and a ruling oligarchy. Only these allies have an influence on important and small decisions in the life and presidency of Biden. The publication writes, Biden's family urged him to stay in the 2024 election race. Besides, they privately discussed whether senior aides should be fired after Biden's speech at the debate, reports CNN. Advisors to the American leader said that the Biden family, including First Lady Jill Biden, son Hunter Biden and their grandchildren, gathered at Camp David for a previously scheduled meeting and urged the president to continue his re-election campaign. One advisor said the family members expressed their unequivocal support. According to a CNN source, the family, clearly disappointed with the team that prepared Biden for the debate with the former president, Donald Trump, discussed whether to fire any of the top advisors and make changes to the campaign staff. Hurricane Beryl slammed the Karayaku Islands in the Caribbean Sea on Monday after regaining its category for status. Beryl made landfall in the island at 11.10 a.m. Eastern Time as an extremely dangerous storm, National Hurricane Center stated, warning that it is the strongest known hurricane to pass through this region so far. The storm caused power outages, flooded streets and ushered in storm surge flooding for parts of the Grenadines, Grenada, Barbados and Tobago Monday, according to the center. Life-threatening and catastrophic wind, waves and storm surges as well as heavy rain and flooding are expected in the area. The storm transformed from a tropical depression to a major category for hurricane in just 48 hours over the weekend. Beryl is the earliest category 4 on record for the Atlantic Basin, breaking the record Hurricane Dennis held from July 7, 2005. Beryl is also the first category 4 ever recorded in the month of June. Hurricanes don't know what month it is, they only know what their ambient environment is, Jim Cosson, a hurricane expert and science advisor at nonprofit First Street Foundation told CNN. Cosson added that Beryl is breaking records for the month of June because Beryl thinks it's September. It's quite, but it's lighter in right now. Transadev. The dog bowl has water, and the dogs are down again on this side. Prince, good day. How are you? Good day. Say good day to the listeners. What do you have, you have anything to say? No. You want water? No. I go back up. Stop shaking out the water. You're, you got a bed. Adai, how are you? Somebody what? Okay, good, nice. That's Adai out there making some complaint over the car inside. <laughs> we didn't hear him for the morning, he was sleeping. But he's back up. <laughs> 